Today, I'm really happy to launch uh, the Women uh, Shexo program. Uh, this is a very important milestone program because uh, from, a, from an India perspective, if India has to grow to that $5 trillion, $7 trillion, $10 trillion economy or even become a developed nation, women have to be a part of the workforce, a significant part of the workforce. Uh, and therefore, we've actually you know, launched this program which is really serving two or three purposes. One is creating uh, a platform where women leaders can meet, interact, and share with each other experiences as they move in their journey towards you know, more significant parts of leadership. And the second bit is really for them also to build capabilities, uh, to, for us to help build capabilities in some of these women leaders as well. Towards this, and I'm very happy uh, that this program is going to be spearheaded by a senior partner from Deloitte, uh, Kalpana Jain, and she's really going to, uh, you know, sort of drive this program. And I think this program is all about purpose and making an impact. And I think that's what will be her primary objective. So Kalpana, congratulations. And, you know, I'm really excited about you taking on this role. Um, and I know that while this program is going to help women leaders, uh, both our professionals and our clients, what are the areas that we are going to work on? So, Romal, we are articulating the program in such a fashion that we identify with the challenges that women face in the course of their careers. There are, we have observed over the years that there are many reasons that they get held back or they get delayed in their road to leadership. So, our intention is to have various events and programs and uh, and initiatives, if I can call them that, which would help them to, let's say, hasten their roles to leadership. So in terms of the kind of events and the kind of activities we are going to do, we are going to have annual meetups, we are going to have uh, knowledge, a knowledge hub, we are going to have perhaps uh, identify topics which are relevant, which are important at leadership levels, which are emerging, for example, sustainability we'll talk about, digital transformation we'll talk about. We are, our job and our intent is to make and enable the women to be confident at the table that they sit on in terms of leadership. Romal, in the course of your interaction with leaders, with clients, uh, what is it that you feel is the opportunity for women? We still have not as many women as we'd like to see. So what are the opportunities that you see uh, for women leaders? So, so clearly from a leadership perspective, you see, um, you know, in terms of Fortune 500 clients, you know, probably 10% are, are women leaders. In India, it's even more less. Also, I think culturally, uh, from an India perspective, the woman is supposed to take on a lot more responsibility at home. That also results in them sacrificing some of the most significant parts of their career as well. And therefore, we don't see so many leaders. So, But I look at this as, as really a fantastic opportunity because in the next 5-10 years, and I do believe this is India's decade, uh, there will be many more opportunities for women uh, in terms of, I think, if, if companies ensure that there are sponsors, uh, if companies ensure that there are allies, if companies um, invest time to build capabilities, and if women leaders themselves also invest time in grooming more younger uh, female leaders, I think those are all the opportunities. So a really fantastic economy, the work culture being much more inclusive than it used to be. Um, and of course, women leaders themselves sort of investing in talent, I think would be a great, these would all be great opportunities for us to see many, many Shexos. So Kalpana, we need to make the world and India a more inclusive place. So what do you think? Without exception, Romal, uh, women are 50% of the population in, in the world. They are true, uh, equally true here in India. Uh, more importantly, in India, we are a very high growth economy. We have aspirations to go to 5 trillion, 10 trillion, and there's certainly no way we can get there without getting our women involved. Women have to take their position at the table as leadership. And we are here, we are attempting to run along with them, to align ourselves with their career, get them to be there faster to make the impact that they need to make in the Indian marketplace. 
Romal, what is your message to our women CXOs? What is the message for the program that we have lined up? I think uh, to all women CXOs, inspire, aspire, um, you know, create, create something wonderful. I think this this is an opportunity for all of you to meet. I always believe friendship is good for the heart. Friendship is good for the business. If you can make good friends during this program, if you can, for example, uh, imbibe some of the things that are good practices across that helps in your own journey to succeed. And if you can also ensure that uh, you create many more uh, young CXOs, I think that would be the that would be the best part of the program. So this is really a, a, a program where I say is, you know, is is feel free to learn, to reskill, uh, to build new friendships uh, and support each other. Roel, I'm really excited about this pro program, of course, as a professional, but more importantly, because I'm a woman careerist and I'm so excited to make us make this happen and realize our purpose. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kalpana. And good luck. I'm as excited as you about this program because I, I really think that this will be one of the game changers for our firm and for our clients and for our people. Thank you.